I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? Her flower plucked is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You'll never marry either of them. Never's such an awfully long time. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh. You won't need your sword. Not where we're going. I'm not going without my sword. I'm afraid you are. Here, I'll help you. There. Oh, doesn't that feel better? Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do? So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Your brother doesn't want to tell me what happened. <laughs> but I already know. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. I'm not sure how you managed that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. Lady Elena Glenmore is our guest. The soldiers accompanied her to ensure her safety. If her safety is a concern, perhaps she should not have come to Ironrath. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Ah. Here we are. Arthur! Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay! <laughs> you didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. Our sister has influence in King's Landing. She'll hear of this. King's Landing is very far away. <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> Look at what you've done. I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please stop! <laughs> please, please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop! Talia, don't look. Please. Look at him, Talia. <laughs> See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Rosie. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. 
That's a lot of blood. I'll see you dead for this! And that, Talia, is why no one likes your brother. <sighs> the poor lad's fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Come on, Roderick. I'm impressed. <laughs> Woo. Lucky for me, you're a cripple. I may have misjudged you, Roderick. I came here to kill you, but now... I'm thinking it might be far more entertaining to watch you and Lud tear each other to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a holdfast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise I'll kill you both and be done with it. There's no need for war. Lord and I have already come to terms. I've just given you the terms. They're not negotiable. One house left standing. Yours? Or Lad's? And one more thing. <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. Oh, ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. Only a monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. Innocent blood shed on Forrester lands. What would Father think? Why? 
After all we've been through, must the gods continue to shit on this house? What have we ever done to them? Follow the Starks? Obey the rule of law? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. Can't believe it's fucking come to this! The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Royland. You'll get no argument from me. But how do we bloody fight them? We just don't have the numbers. Not yet, anyway. And they still have Ryan. Lud makes a show of being strong, but he's no better off than us. Not if the Boltons refuse Where is to... he? Where is oh, my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh, no. No. Oh, no. No, Arthur, no. Arthur! It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. You can't blame yourself, Elena. He was a grown man. He made his own choices. But he trusted me. He always has. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. And now to die, like this, tortured, mutilated. He died as he lived, bravely, as a man of the North. He died in agony and for nothing. Look at him, Roderick. There's hardly anything left of him. Elena. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's get you someplace, Walt. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Pain fades in time. Never fully. But enough. I don't want it to fade. I don't want to forget him. You won't. How could you? You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. I understand. Sleep well, Elena. You're our guest here. For as long as you need. Thank you, Roderick. That, that means a lot. you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast, and you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros, in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. Andros was the one doing the yelling. You can't blame me for his poor manners. I'm sure you gave him good reason. Just as you do everyone. Marjorie included. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, 
You're not the girl I knew at High Garden. She'd never be so reckless. And now, with Garibald refusing to talk to me, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. Marjorie is my only protection without him. If you abandon me, who'll be there when you need someone? I don't know. Marjorie, I suppose. I'm sorry, Mira. I truly am. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family? Of course it was worth it. They're my family. Then they're very lucky to have you. Better go before she sees me. She'll be Forrester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. I thought you'd be happier. I'm glad he's dead. Felt good plunging the knife in at least. But it doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter. Or something. No matter what happens, I'll have your back. Always. And I yours, little brother. But we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Asher. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Meereen, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. No battle is without difficulty, Your Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. All of them? I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? Your Grace, we encountered the slave master, Dizorzo Raza, on the way to the signal tower. I regret that he lost his life. Oh, don't fucking... You admit it, then? The punishment for defying a queen is death. And yet you come to me for a reward. Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. I'm waiting. Because Beska was Dizor's slave. For years. Damn you, Asher. She deserved her revenge as much as any slave in Marine. You have my sympathies. Keep your pity, Dragon Queen. Give us soldiers and we'll be gone. I apologize for her, Your Grace. It's all right, Malcolm. I do not hold it against her or you. You have proved yourselves in battle. And while you disobeyed my orders, you had good reason. Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second sons. What? But your grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. You promised me Croft and his second sons. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. Mm. 
This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Thank you, Your Grace. We promise to put it to good use. I'm sure you will. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. But if she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. Don't even think about it. You just couldn't keep your fucking mouth shut, could you? Had to tell her everything. You sold me out for a chest of gold. Beska, I'm... Don't fucking say it! It seemed like the best defense we had. The scum had it coming. Now he's dead, and we still need soldiers. <sighs> the little queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. Getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built, and from there we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie. We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look. That was always the plan, Cotter. You can't stop me from going north. <laughs> I wouldn't try, but I'm not going with you either. And without me... Sylvie, he's come a long way. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why did he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the... Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. It happened when we escaped Castle Black. There were men chasing us and... That wound's fresh as can be. Are all crows liars or just him? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadid a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. 
I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Well, we've made it this far, haven't we? Getting here was the easy part. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. First I find out you're a wildling. Now you've got a sister. What else are you hiding? Nothing. I swear. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. I wonder why she doesn't wear it. Oh, this is that stuff Cotter was drinking. Wonder if she's ever seen an ice spider. Whew. Hope not. Garrett. You and your sister, you, uh... You don't look much alike. The white hair and... I know what you're getting at. So you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest of our village thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse... Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. So you really won't take me north? I want to help you, Garrod. I mean it. But I can't leave her behind. And besides, north of here, I'd be as lost as you. Why were they afraid of your sister? Same reason you southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are arseholes. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister? I wanted to, but I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. I'm sorry. How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, it's shit. What happened to your village? Did you leave? Well, not by choice. When Sylvie reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. <laughs> she wasn't welcome. I guess they all hoped she wouldn't survive long enough to get a name. <laughs> but she's tough, Sylvie. No way she wasn't gonna make it. Where's your mother now? 
<laughs> Still back at the village for all I know. She tried to send my sister away. Wrapped her up in furs and everything like a good mother would. I left that night when I heard. Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, thens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the white walkers of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Don't frighten our dinner away. Shit. Here. I was never any good with a bow. Know how to use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I trained at Castle Black. So you're shit then. I think you need more training. Joking. Maybe next time, Garrett. Well, since we don't have any food. Well, what's this? Your dinner. It won't fill you up, but it'll make you think you're not hungry for a while. At least I don't have to worry about you trying to shoot me. You ever lost anyone, Garrett? Someone you really cared about. Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again. Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. So it is real, then? I didn't say that. But it might be. A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories. That the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were... Help! This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. 
So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. You were a pit fighter. If they're anything like you, we'll be just fine. Understand, they are nothing like me. These aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. Must make you feel pretty good, seeing the Masters overthrown. They're not gone. They're just on their knees. And when they get back to their feet, they'll be more dangerous than ever. You did what?! What the fuck?! Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Gosha. Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. <laughs> oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks with lily white asses like you, little brother. Maybe they should see a familiar face first. If they don't like us coming here uninvited, it will hardly matter who they see first. Well, if it isn't Beskar, the fucking Basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can, but not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One, two... You're scary, fat man. Good thing I'm looking for scary. I need fighters like you. Hear that? This little man wants us to fight his battles for him. We do what Amaya says. You talk to her. Well, good, because that's exactly what... Hey! Hey! Whoa! Whoa! want something pretty bad to risk coming in here. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. Wait, 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 wait. I'm with her. Your friend, Beska, said you two were all partners. Your friend made a big mistake. Amaya, please! Please what? I had a friend once. The Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom! You walked out on me. On all of us. 
Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. Leave her alone! I don't care what your history is. Beska's the most loyal friend I've ever had. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> My patience wears thin. My enemies in Westeros are powerful and bloodthirsty. Worse than your masters ever were. I need fearless soldiers to crush them! You think we're cell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters! Artists who paint in blood! That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? I'll make you all rich! Your masters, they used you. They made gold from your blood. But I am offering you a chance to earn for yourselves. Amaya. Trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? How about the belly here? You might wish so. His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. Oh, I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Hmm. Right. Well... Suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard? I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you at least kill Bloodsong? <laughs> no. I'll use your Queen's gold to get as far away from here as possible. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. This cockless Westerosi, he's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me. Let me show you how we dance in Marine. Look, this wasn't my choice. I'm not here to kill anyone. Well, we all know that's true. <laughs> no. It's not what I mean. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win. The best would be me. Here, use this. Hoo-hoo! <laughs>
Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. Go wanting. I think I can actually. The masters who once held your chains decided who lived and who died. But as you can see, I'm not here to be your master. I chose you for a reason. You're true warriors. Warriors I admire and respect. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me, and you will have glory and gold! If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! Those things! Oh, fuck! <laughs> 
Over here! Over here! North Grove, that we need to stick together. Run! No! I hope you're right about this, Garrett. You're familiar with my brother's chambers, aren't you? Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in. Yes, Your Grace. I'd like to think we can be honest with one another. However, you're quite the curiosity, aren't you? You profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. It only matters what you think, Your Grace. Don't try my patience. Insincerity will only make matters worse for you. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you, yet Lucan tells me you've invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. I meant no harm, Your Grace. I had a personal matter to attend to. A personal matter? I'm told you used another girl to talk your way in. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. I had to speak with Lord Andros, Your Grace. It was urgent. Lord Andros? I don't imagine he'd appreciate being approached by a person of your stature. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. I have in the past, but I won't anymore. 
You're a clever girl, aren't you? Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. I, I guess I could, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway, and I doubt anyone will miss him. think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. After you sold me out to Daenerys, I've given a lot of thought to staying here. Leaving you to your Westeros and your Foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry. But you're my family. No matter what, I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. There's no spoils without victory. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about that. Victory is all we know. I'll show them their beds. I'll be there in a moment. Go on. Glad you made it. What choice did I have? You denied me an honorable death. So I must find one in Westeros. Vesco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you've found your soldiers. Anrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What does Daenerys want from you? She has a mission for me. But beyond that, she's told me nothing. If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with the uh, cell swords. My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Casting off! Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Ah, oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I thought we were friends, Lord Tyrion. I thought so as well. 
Yet, here you are. You brought wine. How thoughtful of you. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. You and Podrick. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. I'm ready whenever you are. I doubt we'd get very far. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The guards have never let anyone in with wine. That was your first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. I wish you'd had the courage to tell me the truth. Not that I'm above drinking her wine. I told you to be careful. You'll twist your words. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. I owe him the truth. Him? He's nothing now. I'm still a Lannister. And I know plenty of men who'd happily slit your throat. Now, give us a moment. We're not done talking. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you, and will continue to do so, until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Lady Marjorie doesn't know. And I intend to keep it that way. You're fooling yourself if you think it's your secret to keep. And without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? You're a clever girl. I'm sure you'll think of something. Although I would suggest you choose your words carefully. Cersei would be far less amused if she catches you in a lie. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Roderick? Roderick, I... I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Oh, Roderick. I didn't know. It's alright, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. I'm listening. Last night, I couldn't... I was having nightmares. So I... 
Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held? It even says what happened to Arthur Glenmore. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... Talia, where did you get this? The man I saw, he stashed it in the knot hole of an old stump. Like he'd done it before. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. It's your duty to tell me. And mine to pass judgment. Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you as your sister. I give you my word, Talia. The traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. Get the guards. Oh, oh. my lord, <laughs> you scared me after. So you know. I didn't mean for you to learn this way. Start explaining yourself, Duncan. What do you want me to say? What I did. I did for your own good. For House Forrester. You told them everything, Duncan. Our plans, our strategies. I only told them enough to keep us from war. But why? Because you're reckless, Roderick. Just as Ethan was. Choosing that warmonger Royland as his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. But you're not. And you've been endangering this house since the day you got home. Refusing to kiss Lud's ring, even though you knew he'd retaliate. Flagrantly defying Griff and leaving Ortengrin to pay the price. Taking Royland to High Point when the day called for diplomacy. And now, getting Arthur killed. Enough, Duncan! You're not a leader. You're a wounded soldier trying to prove he's still a man. I'm actually trying to save this family. Everything I've done, I've done for them. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. Are you mad, Duncan? You're not saving us, you've destroyed us! It's only because of me. You haven't all been slaughtered. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to obey me. And you broke it. I swore to obey your father. He commanded respect. All you command is violence. This house is doomed with you in charge. Oh, and you know it. Hurts me to say that. But I wish you'd never crawled off that corpse cart. Shut your traitor mouth. I know what I did was right. Duncan, how could you? My lord, Griff's gone. Someone helped him escape. Was this your doing? Lud was going to ambush you at the exchange. I did it to save your life. But Ryan, Duncan, I trusted you.
Let's just get this over with. What do you want me to do with him, my lord? Roderick, you promised. Kill me? And I won't be able to help you save Asher. He's in danger, Roderick. It was the right thing. What Duncan said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Prepare the horses. We're going to war. Almost there, let's get it. Let's have a look. Come on, break it up! Save your love making for below deck. They listen to you. Barely. Well, what happens if your lord brother decides he's the one in charge once we're at Iron Wrath? Do you expect them to follow his orders? Or will it be you commanding them? Doesn't matter if Roderick's lord of our house. These are my soldiers to lead. Oh, you may want to start by telling them your brother's not to be harmed. He hasn't had a chance to win them over like you have. Hmm. Point taken. Hmm. That's odd. Port's quiet. No guards. Hardly any ships. Maybe they're all off fighting one of your king's wars. Could be. Or, could be we'll have a fight on our hands. I'll let the others know. Right. Oh, this couldn't be easy, could it? So, this is Westeros. Ugly. And small. Fucking freezing, too. I said you'd be paid. I never said you'd be warm. Asha. Thank the gods you've made it back. Good to see you, my lord. Hope you're ready for a fight. Lord's got something planned. I don't know what yet, but it won't be good. Been stuck on a boat for weeks. Can use a good fight. What? since I killed any White Hills. Raise the gate! They've got us outnumbered. 
Oh, shit! <laughs> we have to get out of here! <laughs> without one of us holding it. One of us has to stay. Asha! Come on! Don't you dare leave me, Asha! I came all this way for you! You can't fucking die! Go, Roderick. I know what I'm doing. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. Go! You bastard! Beska. You're fucking leaving me? What the fuck am I supposed to do? I came here for you! We're supposed to fight together, always! Kill every last one of these fuckers. Start with him! Oh! <sighs> 